What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Team 2 of Golazo is here and uh, with that hopefully some real fun objectives and other things and we're going to take a look at what EA have given us today right now. So, oh. What? Nah, hold on. I'll, let me re log, it, log out, log in. There's no way that there is no objectives. Like, nothing at all. There's no way. I just logged in to... Available for six days and 23 hours. The light. The light. Golasso! Celebrate the true essence of the beautiful game through week two of Golasso heroes and Golasso icons by reliving the goals that defined their career and the memorable celebrations that followed. Earn a Golasso icon via objectives and score goals across Ultimate Team game modes to earn unique rewards. Log in daily to keep up with our latest content drops. Here's an 85 plus overall single pack to get you started. The EA Sports team. Well, we'll go to the storm in a moment. Surely now, with that little bit of uh, news there, there has to be something. There can't be nothing. The daily play completionist. For some XP. Oh, wow. 80 by 10, 84 by 5, 86 by 2, and 85 by 5 for the whole lot. The daily play gives an 83 by 2, an 80 by 5. And 281 by twos. That's quite nice. Jabby Alonso Jr. is the icon. Assists three goals with three balls. Assists five goals with players from the Premier League. Four four goals with a finesse shot. Wins six matches with three players from the Premier League. I'm going to do this accidentally. Play ten matches with three players from Spain. Score one goal with a chip shot. And for that, you get baby Jabby Alonso. Four star, four star on him. Long ball pass plus intercept plus. That's actually not a bad card for an objective card. Like that's that's decent. Pop a shadow on him and you've got yourself a really, really good card. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, let's see if we've got anything in seasonal. Just the weekly stuff. Milestones, nothing new there. Do we have a new evolution? All well, that push cast there. Oof. Secret stuff, skilled wings, birthday magic, club 99 shooting, backline to frontline, unleashing potential. This is this is the one I told you about, guys about earlier. Overall, max 88, that's it. And it gives one shooting, passing, and dribbling, one pace, passing, and dribbling. One defending and physical. This is genuinely incredible as far as an Evo goes. Because it, whatever 88 you've got, you could put them in. And that's it. You get a little plus one on them. And you might think, oh, that's a bit boring. But for those of us that are actually running Evos, this is just a nice upgrade. Like, I've got Jakob Kivior that I can put into this. What do you need to do? Play two and win one. Play three and win two. Play four and win three. It's actually quite a lot of games for a plus one. But I don't mind it. I just wish that this is the sort of thing that they had, like, three... You know how we've got, like, uh... We've got, but like, secret stuff one and two. Skilled wing defense one and two. Just give us unleashing potential two and three and four and five and six. Every day. Just give a new one every day, right? Um, let people upgrade their cards. That would be real, real cool. So the Evo is nice. Uh, there's no point, eight, like, looking at evolutions for this one because you just fit, find the player that you've got that fits but overall the evo is nice we have got in sbc's there is a new player of the month that we're gonna we're gonna take a little look at it's a uh, serious and uh this card looks quite good actually guys um hello work rates four star four star is really nice you've got good pace very good shooting very good physicals Good dribbling and very good passing for a striker. And then he's got brilliant play styles, like power header and aerial. He's got ping pass as well, which is good. Finesse shot. And then power shot plus and dead ball. He's like every shooting every shooting thing. Two of them play style pluses. And it's only one squad, which is pretty cool. Um, 84 rated team with an 87 rated card. I think it's decent. I think it's decent. Did we not have an actual player SBC otherwise? 
Damn, I guess not. Uh, upgrades. This is new, isn't it? The 88 campaign mix upgrade. Well, it's not new, but it's like re-upped. Um, 83 by 10 is there. Yeah, fairly new, that one, isn't it? Um, 81 double upgrade is there. What's the requirements for this? Five rares. 11 golds. Don't think that's worth it compared to the 81 plus player pick. Might be worth to do like five or ten of those and just give it a shot and just see. But I don't think that's worth it. Nothing in challenges. Icons. Wow. Five star, four star. Eric Cantona. Good pace. Good shooting. Good dribbling. Good physicals. Like really good in those categories. Decent passing. Chip shot plus is it like, maybe I just need to learn how to do chip shots properly. Like maybe there's some like good angles for them. But finesse shot's good. Power shot's good. Incisive pass is good. Technical plus is good. Quick step is good. Acrobatic is good. First touch is good. Traveller is good. Flair, I don't really care about. Um, I mean, a Hawk chem style on him is a big yes. 14 squads. Wait, hold on. Is, is, is he tradable? No, it's untrade, but that's unlucky. Um, bronze, silver, an 84 for the first squad, an 85, two 86s, two 87s, three 88s, two 89s, and a 90. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably worth uh, worth worth getting him. I, I think, uh, look, like, I, I didn't like his uh, Thunderstruck card. I didn't think it was very good at all. I didn't enjoy it. But this has got ridiculously well-rounded stats you could put an engine on him and play him like a cam those passings not the best um i would probably put a hawk on him and play him a striker five star four star with uh with all of these play styles is nice that's not bad that's not bad maybe it's a little bit little bit high priced but um it's not bad and then the store before we go and look at team uh two properly We've got the 85 plus pack for free. Yep, yeah. And then we have got the promo packs. I want the 1,000 FIFA point pack, don't we? Yeah. 15 rare gold. Oh, give me it. Come on, EA. Give me that Golasso, baby. Brazil. Let us run Aldinho Golasso, innit? Never mind, it's Neymar. Double walkout, though. With Hegerberg. An inform. Harry Kuehl. Oh, not, well, Nick's going to be so happy. Harry Kuehl for Leeds. He's got a big boy as well. Four star, four star. I can't lie. It's a bit of a dead card. <laughs> a bit meh. Power shot plus. Rapid plus. Not bad play styles. And then Rosicki. Guys. Rosicki's baby is 90 rated. That's so sick. That dribbling is great as well. So is the passing. This Rosicki might actually get into my Arsenal team. Hey, look at his look at his career for Arsenal. Absolutely amazing. He's got Tiki Taka Plus, Traveller Plus, Whip Pass, Incisive Pass, Three Shoot. Oof. The fact that that's his base is really nice. We've got Park G Song as well. Four star, four star. That's his baby as well. Wow. All right. Okay, this team could be real, real good. And then Roberto Carlos, 93. Five-star, five-star. Cracking card. Cracking play styles. All right. All right. All Leeds fans hate Kuehl. He betrayed them and moved to a club that murders... Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. Went to the Turkish League, didn't he? After the... Yeah. Um... Let's have a look at the uh, the team. Well, uh, let's have a look at the team here. Golasso well, two. Oh. So we've got Viali, Drogba, Jezinho, Ark Cordoba, Vidic, 
Lampard, Carlos, Puskas, Rosicki's big is 92, Harry Kuehl and Park 90. I tell you what. This card is already down at 120k. Four star, five star. Incisive and technical plus. Finesse, chip, power shot, tiki tackle, whip, flare, and Travella. He's got crazy dribbling. Good pace, very good passing. Reasonable physicals. Engine chem style on him. That is a banging card for 100k. That is a banging card. We've got Harry Kuehl, Rosicki, and Park. Let's have a look at them. So Harry Kuehl's 89. We just kind of saw, it, honestly, a bit of a mid card. He's 91, however. Plus twos across the board, including four stamina. Five star, five star, power shot and rapid plus. Wow. Really good play styles on Harry Kuehl as well. Great pace. Very good passing, especially for a winger. Good dribbling. I think an engine for me on him and on the wing. That's, that's a good card. And he's probably going to be cheap. That is a good card. Thomas Rosicki's baby card. Still still decent, this one. I'd put an engine on this uh, Rosicki base. 93 rated card. Four star, four star. It's decent. And then Jisung Park. His 91 is good. King pass plus and relentless plus is great. Press proven technical. Tiki tack, a long ball. All really nice. I think I'd probably go an engine on him as well. Great pace. Very good passing. Great dribbling. Very good card, but what about his 92? So his 92, three dribbling, twos everywhere else, three physicals. Jordan, thanks for the five, brother. I've legit just packed Rosicki, baby, 92 and 92 in the same pack. GG's, what came style for the 92? I think an engine, mate. The 700k. Five star, five star, technical plus and relentless plus. Wow. Incredible play styles. Great dribbling, good physical, good pace. I don't even know what's put on this card. Maybe an engine. Pace, dribbling, and passing like cracked out. I don't know. Maybe even like a. I don't know what I'd go for on this. Maybe a backbone. Nah. See, his dribbling's so good already. But his defending, I don't think, is. Actually, his interceptions and defensive awareness are pretty good. A shadow on him would actually be really good. Great pace, great dribbling. Defensive awareness and interceptions are top end. He's got really good play styles. And decent, decent passing. I would be surprised if this card maintained this price, though. Five star, five star is nice on him, mind you. Uh, we have got Cordoba and Viali as the other heroes. Cordoba's been given three star, four star, aerial plus and intercept plus. They could have boosted his dribbling a bit more, to be fair. But otherwise, look at that. They boosted his shooting by 17. That's quite mad, to be fair, isn't it? Volley's penalties and shot power are banging, but positioning, finishing, and long shots aren't. What's the point, EA? Passing is decent, but vision is terrible. Dribbling is good, but dribbling is bad. Power header, ping pass, jockey block, anticipate, slide tackle, and relentless. This will still be an absolutely ridiculous card. Max pace, max defending, great physicals, good dribbling, good passing, good card. I don't know if he'll maintain this sort of price. Um, 83 by 10s are glitched. What do you mean? And then Viali, four star, five star on Viali. Oh, big boost on him. Nice dribbling boost, nice physical boost, nice decent long pass. His passing is still a bit poor, to be fair. Four star, five star. Quick step plus and aerial plus. Finesse shot, chip shot, power shot, power header, first touch, relentless and acrobatic. Yeah, I mean, probably a hunter or a hawk on him, right? Hunter gives him great pace, great shooting, great physicals. Good dribbling, great play styles. I'd expect, yeah, I was going to say, I'd expect him to be cheap as well, to be fair. Um, we've then got Vidic, Carlos, Lampard, Derzinho, Kaka, Pushkas and Drogba. Oof. These icons are big. Bruiser plus and aerial plus. Five star weak foot. Generally humongous upgrade. That shooting upgrade is madness. Why are people, why are EA giving centre backs huge shooting upgrades? 
Mate, his defending's so good already. I don't even know if I'd put a... I'd, I'd probably put, like, a catalyst on him. Physical and defensively is so good anyway. You could put an anchor on just to get the most out of defending physical. He's lengthy. Yeah, he's lengthy. So anchor, anchor on Vidic is actually very, very, very strong. Very strong. Because it's a goal theme promo. That does make sense, to be fair. Roberto Carlos compared to his 90. He had another card, didn't he? The 92 Future Stars. Five star, five star. Whip pass plus, relentless plus. I mean, that is a very good card. Anchor chem style on him. Great pace, great shooting from range, good passing, good dribbling, great defending, great physical. Good card. We have seen some cards. I don't know. Left backs are a bit weird. I don't think Roberto Carlos is going to maintain a humongous price. The five star, five star certainly helps. Frank Lampard, compared to his 87, a good upgrade. Four star, four star, power shot and incisive plus. Finesse shot, dead ball, ping pass, tiki taka, anticipate, press proven, and Traveller. Holy crap, that's a lot of uh, play styles there. Good dribbling, very good shooting, very good passing, good physical. But Lampard is how, how do you want to play him? I'd probably play a shadow on him and play him as a, as a box to box or a CDM. Because he's got anticipate and press proven as well. He'll be a very good defensive player. So I would probably play a shadow on him. But. You could just use him as like a creative midfielder with an engine. With that passing, it would be very, very good. We've got Jairzinho compared to his 90. Huge upgrade. Fours and fives everywhere. Five star, four star. Quick step and technical plus. Power shot, incisive, pinged whip, rapid flare and traveller. The fact that he's got quick step plus and rapid is, is crazy. Crazy dribbling, crazy pace. Crazy shooting, good physicals outside of aggression, decent passing. Give this man an engine. That is going to be a mental card. Great passing, great pace, great dribbling, very good shooting and good physicals. That is very nice. We've got Kaka compared to his Thunderstruck, which again, I didn't like his Thunderstruck personally. Five star, four star on him. Twos across the board. King pass plus, which I love. Rapid plus, finesse, incisive, tiki taka, technical, first touch, quick step, and traveller. This Kaka might finally represent how he was, how he played, and who he was in, in football. The fact that he's got rapid plus, technical, and quick step is going to make him like a light, like absolutely light on the ball. He's going to be brilliant. He's got very good dribbling, good shooting, very good pace, good stamina and strength, good passing. I would probably put an engine on him. Yeah. Cracking center attacking midfielder with five star, four star. Love that. Six foot one as well. Beautiful. We've got Pushcast 96. Now, his Thunderstruck was already a card that I really liked. Hey, that card is so good, isn't it? He's only four star, four star, though. Finesse shot plus, first touch plus. Power shot, incisive pass, technical rapid, flare, quick step, and Traveller. Insane dribbling, insane shooting. Very good passing. Well, I mean, it, like, honestly, with an engine, that is a crazy card. With an engine, he's got basically maxed out pace, maxed out shooting, maxed out passing, maxed out dribbling, and good physical. That is a ridiculous, ridiculous card. That is a ridiculous card. And Didier Drogba, four star, five star, power shot plus, and aerial plus. Oof. Six foot two. Oh my days, this card's going to be crazy good. Finesse shot, power header, rapid, first touch, press proven, quick step, and relentless with aerial plus and power shot plus. Give him a hawk. Same pace, mostly lengthy, insane shooting, insane physicals, good dribbling, not great, but good. Passing's not the best either, but as a striker, that is, mm, that is a card, man. And then we've also got the uh, Eric Cantona, the Sir Hus, and the Xabi Alonso. So compared to his 93, only negative two compared to his 93. That's actually quite mad. I, I really, really like this card for an objective card. With a Shadow Chem style, he's got great pace, great defending, good physicals, good passing, good shooting from range, good dribbling, good play styles, four-star, four-star. Like, that is a really strong card for an objective card. 
that's an icon. That is a really strong card. I'm a big, big fan of that. Eric Cantona. They've given him four pace, seven agility and balance, two shooting, and four strength. I, I think this Cantona card is going to be wild. I think depending on where you play him, if you play him at striker, I think a Hawk is necessary. Great pace, great shooting, great physicals, decent passing, very good dribbling. Five star, four star with obviously brilliant play styles. I think if you play him at uh, a cam, I, I think you have to go for an engine because you need to get this passing up, right? Like 96 vision, 95 crossing is grand. 98 curve is brilliant. 91 short pass is good. He doesn't have any passing play styles. He has incisive pass, but... And then it gets his dribbling right up, which is good. But I personally would play him... I'd, I'd play him on a hawk and just play him up front in a 4-3-2-1 as one of the center forwards. He could be absolutely banging. Um, and then the player of the month from Eredivisie, nice and cheap. I think this is a really cool card, personally. Again, I'd, I'd be putting a, a hawk on him. Great sprint speed, great shooting, great physicals, good dribbling, good passing for a striker, really good play styles. So it's a really, really good card. Um, and then, yeah, for the Evo side of things, there's only one evolution, but I think it's brilliant. You know, eligible players is basically, I mean, you can even put this Siri Hoos straight in there and get him up to an 89 and get even a bit more on him. But I would, what I would do with that evolution is use a player that you already have um, that's 88 rated in an Evo because you could put two Playstyle Plus players in there and stuff as well. Um, Antonar's upvoted, rightfully so. 81 double upgrade is downvoted, rightfully so. Team of the week player pick is back. So he's is downvoted, but fair enough. Like I get, I get why people downvote those sort of players. But that's it, guys. So honestly, team two for Golasso is very, very good. Let me know who you've packed down below. Let me know who you want the most down below. But for now, that is going to be it. I will see you next time. And uh, good luck packing these Golasso cards. I'm out. Peace.